Hey guys, it's Dr. Sean with the Natural Body Works, and today we're going to do a box opening and setup of a TDCS, which is a uh, transcranial direct current stimulator. I'll put that up here. So I ordered this one from a company called Apex, and uh, or Capitron actually, and it just came in uh, a while ago, but I've been kind of playing with some research on it, and I'm going to do some setup. And we're going to do some self-treatment and some other fun stuff. And I'll show you even the, the, the placement of the electrodes and stuff like that. But let's go into this thing. So we got two elastic headbands. Two leads. Like right here. A red lead with banana clips on either end. Those are good. We're going to open those up real quick. And those look like they're about oh, a good three, three feet long or so. Nice ones. Very sturdy. Looking, I kind of like these. Look at, check this out. That's really nice and thick, good, nice spring in here, so they'll have good contact all the time. That's a nice thing. I like that. This part here, um, not real impressed, but you know it is what it is. We've got some sponges in here. You got a connector. Uh, these sponges will use some uh, um, saline solution, which we'll make with some distilled water and some sea salt. So that I'll show you how to do that later, and then you place them on your head in different places, and I'll show you those. Nice, good rubber. Looks pretty good. I've seen many of these before. Now let's get into the machine here. <clears throat> into the box. There we go. There we go. So, meter, the, the, the meter needle moves only when you uh, follow testing instructions on step two of the included booklet. Need support? Call blah blah blah. Peel that off. And see, this one here is has a milliamp, uh, let's see if I can see it right there, milliamp. Reader, it should only go up to two because this is a two milliamp max power. Uh, you'd have to have more power designed and assembled in USA. That's nice. Indicator light on off switch, max and min. Turn it all the way down first, and we have our banana kip connectors. And in here, we have two places to put some brand new freaking batteries. Got your nine volts, you know, your typical connectors right in there. These are easy peasy to set up. I don't know why they spend so much time in the video telling you how you need to set them up correctly. Um, those are for people who've never seen a 9 volt battery, I guess. I don't know. So here we are. Ah. Connect those. There we go. And we'll connect these in here. Red to red. And black to black. I'll keep them separated from each other. We should see when we turn on, there's a blue indicator light right there. We're going to focus this way, way up. Actually, we're going to pull way in. Here we have our indicator light. That means on right here, on and off. There we go. These now have not touching, and we can turn this up to whatever we want, and it should have a little bit of, there we go, a little bit. We turned up to max, and we're gonna see, we should see this go up to two. A little bit above two. So these are real hot batteries. A little bit below right there. So we see that it seems to be working. Okay, at least we're getting the current through those. Now, remember this is transcranial, so this is going to go across your head, uh, across the skin. It's not going to penetrate too deep, and probably not even really into the skin um, too much. You, you probably feel a, a tingle, but I'm, we're going to go over that. I'm going to go over this whole thing here. Um, it says not to use, you know, bad batteries or whatever, or old batteries. No current flow. Good. Okay, to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there we go. So... Now later we'll make some saline and I'll show you how to, to hook up these pads to it. They're very simple. They just hook in just like this. Right there, there's one hook up right there. And the other one, of course, would be like this. These have to be wet to have contact and they have to have good skin contact. So I'm going to be shaving my head uh, at least a little and I'll show you guys that later on. So anyway, this is part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two, which will be in just a moment which we're going to do making saline. Okay, I'll show you guys how to make that. Okay, so here we are at part two of this. We're going to get, this is 16.9 ounces or 500 milliliters. This is one half liter. So this is just a little water bottle. It says use clean water. Um, I'd like to use distilled water just because the salt will dissolve in it better. And here we have one tablespoon of salt. Now this is actually... Um, salt that's used for canning so it has no iodine and has no other additives like talcum powder and things like that which you commonly find in salt so don't use that if you can help it. So open this sucker up. 
and we're going to pour this right inside. Ooh. Now they're having to make it all kinds of weird ways. Most of it in there. Hi. There we go. Probably should have used a funnel. So there we are. Okay, there we go. One tablespoon of salt. Put this on there. And we're going to dissolve this like this. Okay, you mix it until it's dissolved. Bring this back. And we have our pads which we're going to wet. Now we don't have to take them out for this one. Uh, there we go, that's pretty good. This should last a couple weeks, they said. Now, here we go. You have an electrode in the bottom where it's connected, and then this is just an uh, insulating cover, and then here's the pads. I'm going to take them out for that. Uh, we're going to leave them inside, actually. It'll probably be easier because if you take them out, they're going to get soft. So what we're going to do is go like this, put them this way, and then we're going to put them like this, and we're going to put some water over the top. Look at that, they fill right up. Man, these are great. Look at that. These are really, really nice. Okay, we'll leave them sitting there. Oops, that was bad. We don't want to do that. Let's do this, or this. Now you can make tons of this stuff. You don't have to worry about it. It's just saline solution, right? Put that back on there. And we have a nice wet carpet. So here we go. Nice and wet. We're going to hold these together like this, and we're going to oops, squeeze them out. Look at water comes out of those, huh? Squeeze them out until there's no drippage. They have to be nice and wet. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we'll damp them off with a towel and go to part three, which is applying these to the head. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here we're still working with our uh, TDCS, which is the transcranial direct current stimulator, right? That's the transcranial is, is around the skull, trans across, right? And then direct current, like by the, the, um, the, the 9-volt battery is direct current, DC, so, so it's direct, it's not alternating current back and forth. So we have our machine which we've set up and we put in the two brand new batteries, right, in the back, 9-volt, nine 9-volt nine batteries, and we, we did the test, we turned it on, we connected those at almost max, and it was at 2 milliamps. Okay, so what we're going to do, and then also we made some saline solution, which I even spilled, and we soaked up our sponges, and then I got my hair cut. So I have a nice short haircut. Now it does come with one of these schnazzy headbands, which I'm going to do right here. And we're going to do actually the setup for depression. Now depression, I'm not depressed or anything necessarily, but I want to see how it kind of feels and what it does. Now it's going to go, you're going to have an anode and a cathode. And this is the way they are. So this is going to be the cathode, C-A-T-H-O-D-E, cathode positive, right? And this is the anode, the negative. And um, the way I remember them is, is A-N negative anode. Cathode, C-A-T, looks like a plus, that's positive. So we're going to put those in here like this. We have those little button things. Bop, ah, right in there, that's perfect. And this one right in here. Now, for depression, we're going to be placing them on two areas of the brain, or of the skull, that, that should affect the brain in some way. And they're called the DLPFC, which is the dorso, it's like on the top back here, um, dorso lateral on the side, prefrontal, so you have the frontal lobe up through, prefrontal cortex. So it's like right up in here, right there in that area. So the anode is going to go um, on the right, sorry, the anode is going to go on the left, so the anode, right? Okay, negative goes on the left, my left, this is my left. So we're going to put this one right up here. Has good contact, right? And the cathode, positive, is going to go on the right. Same place. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever used this sucker. Let's see what it does. Well, hopefully we don't end up uh, zapping ourselves too much. So we're going to turn it all the way to minimum to start it, because we don't want to like just zap the hell out of me, okay? And I'm going to put my glasses on because I can see the little indicators better and stuff. <sighs> Sorry about that. There we go. We have our glasses on and we're ready to go. We're going to turn it on. Three, two, one, and we are on. So we're, have, we're hot. We have this little here and our indicator at milliamps, way less than one, like one-tenth of a milliamp. So we're going to turn it up and I'm going to show you. We have to go quite a ways. That's a two, three, 
poor. Ow. Okay, ah! I can feel it. Oh, there we go. Woo! Tingly. So, here's what I feel. So, we're at, there we go, right there. Two milliamps, okay? Two milliamps, direct current uh, from here to here, or here to here. Okay, so we're going through. We've got the, the anode on the left and the cathode on the right on the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. And this system would be done for 30 minutes once a day for five days. So I'm gonna let this sit on me for a little while. I don't really, let's see, I'm trying to see if I feel anything. I'll give you kind of a system here. I do feel a little bit of pinching in here, so we may not have as good a contact as we wanted. I did let the, the pads soak for a little while, so they're really good with the, the salt water. Um, I don't feel anything in between. No metallic taste or anything like that. Uh, no shortness of breath. I, I feel literally nothing except for a little like tingle here and maybe a slight tingle on this side. I'm trying to see if I have anything. You know, we got good contact. Realistically, I do feel something happening in here. Now, I've done a lot of acupuncture and I work with acupuncture, so there's a lot of subtle things that I do work with. And um, I think that. I'm starting to feel some of those, so it may be coming through through here. Now this is a yin tang point here, it's very good, and you'll feel it in through the face. And I do kind of feel it through there. That's probably carrying through the facial nerve or maybe the trigeminal nerve or something like that on the surface. A slight and mild headachey kind of feel. But it's super slight, like 1.5 out of 10. And here we're at about, what, one minute, two minutes. Anyway, so th this is the setup for the depression setup, okay? So right here. I'm going to do a whole thing on, on the, the 10, 20 points that are, are used in <clears throat> the system, which are, you know, there's frontal lobe points, there's parietal lobe points, there's temporal lobe points and occipital lobe points, and then there's some central points along the top, and that vertex, which is right up top there. And I'm going to be practicing and playing with this thing uh, and, and, and showing the results and how to set it up on yourself and how to, how to do this. If this one's maxed out at, at 2 milliamps, which you can see right there. That's 2 milliamps, um, which is that's this one. And that's what most of the research seems to say, and that's what they've kind of used for this. And this is intrude, includes the um, research gate, which is, I don't know, maybe that's great, not a great one, I don't know, but the National Institutes of Health has a lot of research papers that have been published through them, PubMed and Medscape. So you can kind of go on those and look for those. I'll see if I can find some of the, the documentation and put them in the comments or something. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of me zapping my brain and uh, trying to do something. And uh, um, <coughs> uh, we'll go from there. So so leave a comment. If you've tried this thing, let me know and see what you got. And if you're trying it now, I want to see how you've done, if you've done the five-day protocols uh, on these things, which is between 20 and 30 minutes, one to two times a day for five days. And uh, I'll be doing this, and I'm going to see, like, we, we'll have to do some kind of, like, um, scaling program in the beginning. Now, there are some psychological tests that I can do and psychological worksheets that I can work through to see how depressed I am and how anxious I am or how, like, other things that we work on this would be, like, OCD um, cravings, which is kind of like is OCD, um, obsessive-compulsive disorder, and schizophrenia, depression, and anxiety. So we'll... And there's, there's also some you can do for, like, um, increasing... Uh, uh, wow, stingy... Zap, 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 up through there. It, increasing, like, like mental acuity and focus and stuff like that. And I'm going to work on some of those. That's what I want to work on. I was actually getting into this for uh, meditative purposes because I'm really interested in meditation, how it works with some tools. And this is kind of a highfalutin tool. This is, I can't remember how much this thing was. But I did get it from Apex or what is it called? The... Something I'll, I'll put the I'll put that in the link too. I bought it from them. The video they have is is a lot shorter. You know, it goes through the little steps. Um, they take a little bit too much time, in my opinion, showing you how to use the nine volt battery. But <laughs> some people don't know how. I guess. Anyway, this is Dr. Sean. We're gonna sign off. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and comment, and I'll get back to you on the comments and let you know how this is going for me. It's it's the end of July, so we're looking at time in what during the coronavirus and all that other nonsense. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Don't forget. Get this transcranial thing, putting it on our heads right there. I'm gonna put it right there. Bye.
Okay, so actually just kidding about that. I just finished using this thing for 30 minutes, had the pads and everything like I set up before, and um, I did it for a good 30 minutes. Um, this is the second day actually I've done it, so. Um, the first day I just felt a little tingly, especially on the right side, which was the um, cathode or positive side. So, um, not much else. I mean, uh, maybe a little bit of a sinusy kind of thing. So I think it's riding down through the frontal uh, bone into the maybe the maxilla, uh, possibly getting in there, but I doubt it. I did feel it a little bit across the forehead, but I don't feel anything different. But this is only the first time I've done it, so there's going to be probably a learning curve and some of those things. I'll go ahead and finish the five days of this one for, uh, what, th this is 30 minutes each. Uh, so I'll finish those and then we'll do a review and then I'll show some of the patterns for the different um, uh, things like schizophrenia and, and OCD and stuff like that. Now there's also ones for mind enhancement and concentration. I'll, I'll work on those as well. So I'd like to get a little bit of, uh, like maybe play with something like lucid dreaming or possibly um, uh, uh, cognitive enhancement or something like that. So anyway, don't forget to go ahead and, and subscribe to see more of me drooling and frying my brains and working with this uh, uh, the transcranial um, direct current stimulator. Um, it's a it's a cool little machine. This is it's it's all analog, so you have to take care of the time yourself. You can turn on, turn off. That's about what you can do, and then you can determine the milliamps. Remember, this one only goes up to two, which is most of the research only goes to two anyway. So we don't need to go any more than that. Um, and even most of the the acupuncture stuff is, is still around that same level, which is fine. I mean, we we were going to work with that as well. And uh, this is uh, Dr. Sean over at The Natural Body Works signing off. You guys have a good one. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment and leave me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of this crazy stuff. I'll be doing more videos later.